who are we? It's sad. The day they see you is the day they judge you. The day they judge you is the day they class you. The day they class you is the day they react to you. To get here, they don't know all the things you've been through. They don't know the struggles. They don't know the pain. They assume every situation is the same. The same as his. The same as hers. The same as theirs. Yes, the same as theirs. As long as theirs is better. Until something tragic opens their eyes and opens their ears. But this happens never. Who are we? They say the first impression is your last impression. But sometimes the first impression is not the best impression when a better impression is compressed and is ready to be expressed. But never do the judge get the time of day to be freed because they live in a hypothetically free world but from judgments they bleed. Who are we? They never get the chance to find the X in their own equation because they're surrounded by people who feed off manipulation. They never get the chance to prove a point or to prove two points because the judges never seem to understand. So one disappoints and everyone is disappointed. But what is each person's purpose? To please the populated? That's what it seems, that's what it appears, that's life's extremes, that's everyone's fears. Who are we? The face that closed the money, the fame, the fortune, it's funny. That's how they class you, that's the world's view. Yes, that's the world's eyes through the world's lies. The world's eyes from which the spies arise. The world's heart becomes a worldly dart. The stereotypes, the ideal types. How the hell can we be worthwhile when we never boast our personal stripes? Not our national stripes, but our inner stripes. Who are we? The appearance, the hair, it starts there. From the point a black man has a fro, he's a thug. He's uneducated, he's a bum. From the moment a black man has hair longer than a norm, the growth isn't viewed from art's form. From the moment a black man has a fro, he's low. He's not attractive, he's unattractive. He's never going to make it, he'll never be proactive. He'll always be inactive. Who are we? But that's in their eyes. They believe their eyes are clear. So many times their hair is short or perhaps neater, but their eyes aren't even there. Yes, I said short or hair because that's how they compare. Who gives them the right to judge? What gives them the right to grudge? Grudge against difference. Judge against who they aren't and who they likely want to be. We know deep down inside we live in a messed up society. A society where hair isn't art. A society where a black man grows his hair and he'll never be smart. Who are we? We live in a society where hair is your character. We live in a society where hair is simply the determining factor. Those who choose to be new and real suffer because they're forced from being true to ideal. But some people really aren't the same. Some people don't depend on the world to provide his or her name. I am one of those persons and I won't conform. I'm doing what I do and yes, it may go against the norm. But the jobs I desire are the jobs I receive. The places I go are the places I've achieved. The jobs I'll acquire are the jobs in which I believed. My hair won't determine how many steps I invest. It may determine the institution in which I rest. But I'm growing my hair and no, it'll never stop my quest. Because I'm the same person simply seeking good, better and the best. My identity is mine, not what the world defines. Who am I? I am success.